so in previous video i have discussed about true altitude now first let me define here visible horizon suppose this is earth and we have this observer where this one is height of i this distance is height of i and this one is observer's i level right so the circle which bounds the observer's view on the earth's surface in clear atmosphere is called visible horizon so here this is your visible horizon this is the view we can define that circle which bounds the observer's view of the earth's surface in clear atmosphere that is visible horizon well next is the observed altitude if we see carefully this angle which can be defined as the angle between visible horizon and the line joining our observer's eye level and celestial body this is the limit of area around the observer which is under direct line of sight of observer well the range of visible horizon will depend upon the height of observer as the height of eye increases the range will also increase now let's talk about observed altitude well we can see this is the sextant altitude corrected for index error and this can be defined as the angle at the observer's eye level contained between his visible horizon and line joining observer's eye to celestial body so here this is the angle and this is the angle between his visible horizon and line joining observer's eye to celestial body so we can obtain observed altitude by applying index error to the sextant altitude well if the index error is on the arc then we need to subtract and if it is off the arc we need to add to sextant altitude to obtain observed altitude now let me define again sensible horizon well if you see this yellow line here this is sensible horizon if we see carefully this is parallel to rational horizon and rational horizon is great circle because it passes through the center of earth the sensible horizon does not pass through the center of earth so it is a, a small circle so let's give the definition that sensible horizon is a small circle on celestial sphere whose plane is parallel to rational horizon and passes through observer's eye level now we have one more important term called dip of sea horizon well that is the angle at the observer's eye level tained between his sensible horizon and visible horizon let's have a look here so here this is the angle which is between sensible horizon and visible horizon well this is the function of height of observer the values of dip are tabulated against height of i in nautical table and also in nautical almanac which are based on the following formula that dip in minutes is equal to 1.77 under root h where h is the observer's height in meters it should be noted that the value of dip is affected by the amount of refraction of the observer's line of sight to his horizon uncertainty in the refraction makes dip correction the least accurate of all the corrections to altitude
Now let's define apparent altitude. If we see this angle, and this angle is between sensible horizon, let me repeat, this angle is between sensible horizon and line joining height of eye, or sorry, observer's eye to celestial body. We can say this is the angle at the observer's eye level contained between his sensible horizon and celestial body. So, if we see carefully, this one is the observed altitude from here to here. And this one is the depth. So, if we subtract depth from observed altitude, we get apparent altitude. The observed altitude minus dip correction is apparent altitude. So, we can say the dip correction is always subtracted. And let me just repeat here, perhaps with the help of marking. This one is the observed altitude. Let me just mark here. From here to here. This is the observed altitude. Now, this is dip correction. So, if we subtract this dip correction, all we get is this altitude, which is apparent altitude, apparent altitude. So, let's talk about uh, various corrections. So, first thing is the semi-diameter, SD. Well, in case of sun and moon, it is easier and more accurate to measure altitude of upper or lower edge. I call it limb, upper limb or lower limb of the body than to observe the estimated center of the body. Thus, we can say SD is the correction to be applied to obtain altitude at the center of body. So, let's have a look here. Suppose this is sun or moon and we need to obtain the altitude at the center. So, it is very difficult and not a practical idea. What we can do? We can take either lower limb or upper limb. Now, if we measure lower limb, all we have to do, we have to add something so that we can have uh, altitude at the center. Similarly, if we measure at the upper limb level, all we have to do, we need to subtract this much and we get altitude at the center. Well, uh, this correction is the semi diameter and we can define that this is the angle at the observer's eye subtended by radius of body. So, the semi diameter varies as the distance of body from earth depends and therefore it will change due to the elliptical orbits. So, at times uh, sun or moon is closer, at time it is further. So, the value of sun is only uh, for 3 days given in the almanac. However, for moon it is given for every day. That means that 3 values, one for each day. Let me show something on the almanac. Suppose this is the almanac and it is for 3 days, 16, 17 and 18, one page. Now, if we, uh, one page contains something about sun and moon, if we look at the bottom of the sun, we see semi diameter 16.3. That means semi diameter of sun for 16, 17 and 18 is same. However, if we look at the moon, then the semi diameter is 16.1, 16.2 and 16.3 is changing.